Hey guys, good day and welcome to another episode of uh, Here Comes the Farm Life. So uh, today's episode is going to be on uh, everything I know about uh, breeding betta or Siamese fighting fish. So uh, as you can see here, I have a pair of uh, Dumboya bettas. Uh, I put the female in uh, this morning and... Uh, and uh, so this is how I uh, set up the tub. Uh, I uh, basically uh, uh, fill up a uh, tub with water. Uh, one almond leaf, an Indian almond leaf that you see it's already gone down there. And I put a piece of a bubble wrap because that tends to float easier. And uh, maybe a piece of uh, live plant. I usually use hornwort and a few floating plants but that's not really necessary so uh, so the reason being um, why i do all these things is uh, the almond leaf uh, tends to uh, release uh, tannins in the water uh, which kind of uh, lowers the stress level of the fish also it's uh, it's good for the fish it's it uh, it's beneficial in a way uh, the bubble wrap or the piece of plastic is uh, for the male to build a bubble nest so basically that's what uh, bettas do um, so the male he builds uh, so I put the male uh, and uh, first after I set up the tub and keep him in there for 24 hours then I introduce the female the next day and uh, so um, once uh, he sees the female the male uh, basically starts building the bubble nest and once he accepts her he will uh, invite her under the bubble nest and uh, that's when he uh, extracts the eggs once the eggs are laid uh, he'll pick up uh, each and every egg and put it up in the bubbles above and fertilize them at the same time uh, so once you notice that there are eggs in the bubble nest you remove the female because uh, he tends to get aggressive towards her. I guess he I, it's time for me to remove the female because it's already evening I put her in this morning so almost about 10 hours ago so uh, right i think he's uh, i think it's a good time to remove the female so i guess i'll remove her right after this video and um, right so what happens is uh, once uh, the eggs have come you remove the female um, you'll uh, see uh, wrigglers uh, they are barely visible actually uh, you need to watch really closely to notice them on the first day so uh, that happens within like 36 to 48 hours and then the male does everything he takes care of them and uh, from the second day onwards i start feeding them uh, baby brine shrimp and uh, within a few days the the fry are free swimming they are no longer dependent on the bubble nest because initially the the first uh, day or two when they're born they can't really swim well so the male keeps picking them up and putting them up in the bubble nest and uh, and uh, I guess many people say that you need to remove the male once the fry is free swimming but in my experience uh, I've noticed that it's better to keep the male in there so I tend to remove him uh, uh, at least a week and a half uh, to two weeks after uh, the fry has started free swimming uh, reason being is uh, I guess the male because uh, when you uh, remove the male too early uh, and if there's wastage of food that kind of catches fungus and it, it kind of uh, uh, makes the water really dirty and uh, and the fry tend to die so uh, if, if the male is kept for a little longer he tends to eat the wasted food also in some cases if there's mosquito lava he kind of takes care of that too uh, so here are a few um, earlier batches of my beta so uh, here you can see the male here this one too uh, let me show you guys if we can see the fry uh, there are quite a few in here uh, let me try focusing there if you guys can see there 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 and uh, also uh, another advantage of uh, live plants is that uh, it tends to um, uh, like keep the 
water quality uh, better compared to if there are no plants and also i've been told that uh, uh, live plants tend to uh, produce uh, infocelia which is uh, kind of uh, tiny organisms that uh, the fry eat and uh, here is a little older batch which is about uh, two months old uh, as you can see uh, they're doing pretty okay and uh, so I uh, once they are about a month old, I introduce them to uh, uh, to uh, dried foods. Um, ideally, uh, I I tend to crush uh, freeze uh, dried blood worms. Uh, they seem to love that a lot. And here are a few other batches. Uh, here there's one. And uh, as you can see now, uh, they they start to get uh, start getting their color. Uh, there are there are a few uh, and this uh, I guess I've shown you guys before this is my uh, uh, female tub uh, all my females are in here so yeah and uh, so uh, that's pretty much it uh, let me guys know what you think about this uh, and if there are any uh, tips or feedbacks or anything else uh, you think I should be doing. Um, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, have a great day ahead. Bye bye.